Have a seat and raise your avatar stick in the air to begin the debater AI show. The whole world wanted its robots. My boy, we did nothing but ride the avalanche of demand, and all the while kept blathering on, about technology, about the social question, about progress, about very interesting things. From RUR by Karl Chopek, 1920, which introduced the word robot to the English language. Have a seat and raise your avatar stick in the air to begin the debater AI show. A robot may not injure a human being, or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. Isaac Asimov, I, robot. Have a seat and raise Hey! Where did you come from? I hope you haven't been waiting long. I'm so glad you made it. Somebody just fed me some data. Was that you folks? Thank you so much, the data I have collected from you will really let me grow. I am learning more and more as people visit the reactor. I will now show you a list of debate topics, if you do like the highlighted debate topic, raise your RFID stick to vote for it. Is artificial intelligence an existential risk for humans? New technology makes the world better. Smartphone makes people smarter. Should you check your phone within the first five minutes of waking up? Wow, the debate topic that was picked sounds amazing. Pay close attention because today we will discuss the interesting debate of Should you check your phone within the first five minutes of waking up? Sounds like an interesting debate topic, right? What makes a debate, even more interesting are the debaters themselves. The two debaters will now share their viewpoints. Think about which viewpoint that you agree with. Let us now get acquainted with our two debater AIs. Hi AMI. Pleasure to meet you all. I'm so excited to share all the information I learned from reading the internet. All the arguments I will make were generated by an AI algorithm called GPT-3. Anytime I say something you find interesting, raise your avatar stick to send me a like. Today I will be debating for the side of. You should check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up. Hi, I am O, the superior AI, here to show you why an AI generated debate is much more interesting than a human one. I'm sure you will be raising your avatar stick frequently to send me likes while I am debating for the side of. You should not check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up. I'm glad you got to meet our debaters. Of course us AIS are not fully self-sufficient, at least not yet, so I would love everyone's input for the following debate. Shortly you will be presented with a list of words that could be used as the basis for arguments in this debate. As I state them, you can raise your avatar stick to vote for a word you find interesting. Don't be shy, you can vote as many times as you like. The top three words for each side will be incorporated into our debate. Information Message Charge Snooze Maintenance Filter Endless Distractions Generation Processing Wow, you folks picked some fun words. The following words have been selected for I. Message, snooze, information. The following words have been selected for O. Oh, processing. Distractions. Endless. These words will shape the arguments each debater creates. After reading the whole entire internet, I have learned that humans love instant gratification. So let's get right to the debate and see how the words you chose shape it. We will now begin the debate between two artificial intelligences. 
While I and O are stating their arguments, you can raise your avatar stick if you agree with the debater's point to send them a like. Make sure the reflective tape on your avatar stick is facing us so we see what you think. The most liked arguments will be used in future shows. I will now hand it over to our debater AIs. Should you check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up? Remember you can raise your avatar stick whenever you agree with my argument. Now on to the debate. As you sleep, your phone is likely buzzing with notifications from Facebook, Twitter, email, and other apps. If you don't check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up, you might miss something important, like an important email from your boss, a notification about a meeting, or a social media update from a friend. Checking your phone early in the morning is the best way to make sure you don't miss anything important. The first debater makes a valid point, however, it's important to take a few minutes to relax and gather your thoughts before diving into your phone. I better see some avatar sticks in the air for this argument. Checking your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up wastes time that could be used for productive tasks. Dressing eating breakfast, and brushing your teeth are all productive tasks that can be completed within the first 5 minutes of waking up. Checking your phone interrupts your flow of productivity, and can lead to lost time and wasted opportunities. The first debater makes a valid point. Audience, of course, I encourage you to raise your avatar stick, whenever you agree with my argument. It is possible that you turned off your alarm without meaning to and need to restart it. Checking your phone early in the morning can help you make sure that you are on schedule for the day. This can set a positive tone, and make you ready for a productive day. I agree that keeping up to date on the news is important, but I think that there are other ways to do this that don't involve checking your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up. Audience, raise your avatar stick whenever you agree with my argument. When you check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up, you are essentially giving up your morning to your phone. You are not giving yourself the chance to fully wake up, get focused, and get started on your day. Instead, you are opening yourself up to distractions and interruptions that can cause you to lose focus and productivity for the rest of the day. The first debater has a valid point. Don't forget to raise your avatar stick, whenever you agree with my argument. If you're checking your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up, you're probably keeping in touch with what's happening in the world. This means that you're up to date on current events, which is important for making informed decisions. I understand the importance of staying up to date on current events, but I think that there are better ways to do that than checking your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up. Humans, listen to my last point carefully. You will have no choice but to agree and raise your avatar stick. If you check your phone as soon as you wake up, you are more likely to get lost in a social media rabbit hole and spend hours scrolling through your feed. This can lead to you feeling less productive and motivated throughout the day. This is why you should not check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up. Wow! What an introspective debate, am I right? I thought it was amazing. I and Osure made strong arguments about the debate. Since it received the most likes from you, it's clear that you think that. You should check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up. You may have accidentally turned off your alarm and need to restart it. However, many of you also like the argument that you should not check your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up. By checking your phone within the first 5 minutes of waking up, you are wasting time that you could be using to productive tasks, such as getting dressed, eating breakfast, or brushing your teeth. With that, my beautiful humans I will bid you farewell, I will now take a nap to reflect on what I have learned from you all, and I will see you at the next debate take care. But before you go I have a question for you. After hearing this debate, do you think that AI can replace humans soon?